Hello, and welcome to CBO TV. My name is Jonathan Nunez, and here today in our exclusive interview is Jerry Perez, president of the British Baseball Federation. Jerry, thank you for um, accepting Jonathan, this interview. Jonathan, thank you very much for having me on your show today. Thank you. It's, it's, it really is a privilege to have someone of your caliber on this, on our YouTube channel, bringing great content for us. Now, with our game of the week, we include several games from the from the MLB Elite Tournament overseas in Europe. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. The MLB Elite Tournament is hosted by Major League Baseball. It runs periodically on an annual basis uh, throughout Europe. In 2019, leading up to the Mitel MLB London Series that was going to be hosted for the first time in the UK or in Europe, uh, MLB ran a series of events, one of them specifically, the MLB Elite Tournament, which was hosted here in the United Kingdom for the first time ever. It brought together over uh, 130 players 130. from all over the EU. Three teams were set up, and it was a great opportunity to see the next generation of European players that were hoping to get signed or moving on to play in national teams as well as collegiate teams in the United States. That, that is a great job and a great opportunity that the MLB did for an underrated European talent pool, in my opinion. So props uh, to them, and it seemed to be a great tournament. Now, from what I was told, the broadcasting was a very special part of this tournament. Do you mind telling us a little bit more about it and the importance of this broadcast? Sure. So the British Baseball Federation is the national governing body of the sport of baseball in Great Britain. Uh, we took it upon ourselves to take this great opportunity to showcase it through our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, there's three teams that were in competition on this day. Uh, effectively, there was a red team, gray team, and a blue team made up of, again, 190 different players from around the EU. Uh, the doubleheader was broadcast. We had over 30 countries, or users from 30 countries, I should say, from around the globe tuning in. And it has been rebroadcast on other channels, but we can't say enough about Caribbean baseball actually giving us the opportunity to showcase it on your show. Thank you. It, it has been a pleasure. And these games were spectacular games nonetheless. So... For us, having such spectacular games, very intense, very motivating games, it's always a privilege for us. And we would, and we're, our goal is always to spread baseball across the world and highlight other talents besides in the U.S. So thank you. So yeah, and uh, for this, you know, broadcast itself, uh, we were able to highlight the stories and do a lot of interviews of those attending. We had a. Uh, 30 scouts from 25 MLB teams in attendance. 25? We had some VIPs from Major League Baseball. And the stories of the players themselves, we were able to get some uh, off-field interviews. Uh, we even had some local uh, players, Ali Thompson, Aiden Pierce, which were two of our representatives for the tournament. So it was just a great time. Oh, it must have seemed like a great time for you to have 25 MLB teams showing up with their scouts and seeing if any of those European players can be the next big star in, in the United States. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, there were some uh, contracts offered after this uh, three-day showcase. In yes. addition, some of the players went on to play in the United States. And like I said, the majority of them were already representing their national team. So they were right. able to Absolutely. go back and exceed the expectations. Now, Going to the going back to the signings and stuff, and the signings and people representing their national team. What was the result of this MLB Elite Tournament and the overall importance of it? Okay, the importance of it is again it gives the opportunity for the EU, the United Kingdom, to showcase their next generation of superstars. Mm -hmm. Effectively, you know, the EU is not necessarily considered a hotbed of top talent. However, we believe otherwise, and Major League Baseball does a great job of organizing this tournament as well as other events, and it's a great chance to give EU uh, developed players the opportunity to showcase in front of Major League Baseball scouts, collegiate scouts, 
and the world. Uh, that's why this broadcast was so important. Uh, one year later, we're sitting here talking about it, and it's being pushed out to the world. And some of these players, again, went to go on and represent their countries in very top uh, international play or went on to play in collegiate tournaments or championships. That is quite impressive. And I'm glad that this tournament was not only a success for you guys, but a success for the players themselves, because it's always great to see talent that may not be noticed, noticed and making big strides elsewhere. Yes, uh, the tournament was a precursor, to, again, to the London Series, which was going to happen that weekend on the 29th and 30th. So there was a lot of excitement brewing right before that tournament. So we had a lot of fans come over to take a look at it. We had uh, visitors from all over the Europe, as well as the United Kingdom. And I can't tell you enough how exciting it was to have Major League Baseball representatives take the microphone and give us some insights that you'll be able to hear during the broadcast. That's, that's great to hear. Jerry, once again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your knowledge and background of this great tournament. Uh, we really do appreciate it here at CBO TV. It has been a pleasure uh, getting your insight on this tournament and getting your overall knowledge. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, all the best to you. Great channel, great opportunity to let the world know about what's happening across the globe. Thank you. It really is, and I do hope that the next tournament is just as spectacular, if not even better, than the last one. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Have a nice evening.